Grace, thank you. April, of course, known for many things, but one of my favorites is the fact that it's known as Second Chance Awareness Month. It's a time to recognize recently released inmates and help them reconnect with their communities. And Lee Langston with the Alabama Nonviolent Offenders Organization joins us with a few events that you need to put on your calendar right yes. now. So, Lee, first of all, welcome to the newscast. Thank, yes, thank you so much for having me. Of thank course. You. I mean, this is definitely something that is very, very near and dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. So tell us us why you decided and why you are so passionate yes. about this. Well, thank you. Again, being uh, in this environment for over 20, 30 years dealing with these individuals, uh, I really want to make sure that people understand that this is something that has gone on, mm -hmm. is going on, and probably will continue to go on where a number of folks who had one incident and did their debt to society now just need an opportunity, not a handout, but a hand up, mm -hmm. just an opportunity to come back with some level of dignity and respect right. and then be able to get on with their lives. So that's the reason why we do it. Even when people are released, even once they have paid their debt, as we say, to society, mm -hmm. uh, we know that people often have their minds made up about certain people. Yes, what are some of the challenges these folks face when they are introduced to society and, and to their communities again? Well, unfortunately, they still don't get an opportunity to get their IDs back, mm -hmm. their uh, birth certificates, et cetera. So we have to help them with that. Right. Unfortunately, a lot of times their family members have given up on them, mm. so they don't have a place to stay. Uh, they, they have a, so many hurdles of getting jobs. Uh, and, and fortunately now, a lot of these uh, organizations and businesses are beginning to help them by giving them jobs. Oh, that's because great. you know there's a lot of jobs out there, there that's, are. That's, that's available. So yeah, and, and the other thing is right now, if someone is actually trying to better themselves, uh, that's another hurdle, either because they don't have enough education, they don't have a GED, yeah. they don't have the skills trade that they need. A number of these folks went, went to prison mm -hmm. 10, 15 years ago, even before there were right. cell phones. And mm -hmm. so, you know, those are some of the major hurdles that, that we see every single week wow. when these individuals get out. Well, I love the fact that you all are coming together to do something for them, including an event you have going on this Saturday mm -hmm. yes. because it is the first prayer breakfast. We yes. do have some information about that. It's over at the Bob Harrison Center. Yes. But what can people expect when they come out right. to this? Well, we want to make sure that, they one, these individuals have been recognized and have an opportunity to uh, be around folks that can help them. There will be law enforcement there. There will be businesses there. There will be churches there. And hopefully there will be government officials there to proclaim this April as Second Chance Awareness Month for them. And we have a guest speaker that's going to give a powerful uh, presentation. Oh. He's a retired chaplain from the Federal uh, Bureau of Prisons in Maryland. So we're, we're excited about this opportunity for the first time. And hopefully it'll be many more coming. Yeah, of course. All right. Well, just one more question, if I may quickly, but just how can people learn more about all of these events you've got coming up? Well, they can always go on our website, mm -hmm. www.anvuhsv.org, or they can call our number, 256-288-3175. Well, thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you all on. for having it's us again. Pleasure. So remember, the event is this Saturday. There's yes. also a job fair that's going on. There's a youth summit, yep. so many more things. So please go to the website and check it out. We'll be right back. North Alabama, being a voice for those who have no voice.